The best ever death metal band out of Denton a couple of guys who'd been friends since grade school One was named Cyrus, the other was Jeff And they practiced twice a week in Jeff's bedroom The best ever death metal band out of Denton Never settled on a name But the top three contenders after weeks of debate Were Satan's fingers and the killers and the hospital bombers Jeff and Cyrus believed in their hearts They were headed for stage lights and Learjet's fortune and fame So in script they made prominent use of a pentagram Stenciled their drum heads and guitars with their names This is why Cyrus got sent to a school Where they told him he'd never be famous This is why Jeff in the letters he'd write to his friend Helped develop a plan to get even When you punish a person for dreaming their dreams Don't expect them to or forgive you The best ever death metal band That have dented Will in time both outpace And outlive you Hail Satan Hail Satan Tonight Hail Satan Hail Satan Tonight Hail Hail remarkable thing about coming home to you is the feeling of being in motion again. It's the most extraordinary feeling in the world. I have two big hands and a heart pumping blood in a 1967 cold 45 with the busted safety catch. shines as I cross the Macon County line going to Georgia the most remarkable thing about you standing in the doorway is that it's you that you're standing in the doorway, you smile as you ease the gun from my hand. I am frozen with joy right where I stand. The world throws its light underneath your hair. Forty miles from Atlanta, this is nowhere. Going to Georgia. Laura, thank you for coming on the right note and and playing a couple of mountain goat songs. Yeah, my pleasure. What was the uh, what? Firstly, let's start with your fandom of mountain goats. Okay. What, what is it you you like about the band? I have like such a strong attachment to the mountain goats. I was given like a cassette tape, like. Uh, just like a, a comp tape that a friend made for me when I was maybe like 16 years old, just starting to drive and like would do a lot of long, long, long road trips where I would just listen to those same cassettes over and over again. So like developed a love for the Mountain Goats. And at the time, John Darnell was just doing songs on like a, on a boom box. Like, so they were always like really lo-fi recordings with like the sound of the, of the hum going the whole time. So it was so different than anything else, you know, but it, it like really, despite the recording quality, the songwriting always shined. Um, 
And, you know, over the years, like, watching them progress as a band, watching John Darnell progress as an artist, like, I've stuck with them, excuse me, and really, like, been able to see the growth there. But, like, I don't know. Like, I on this last tour we were on, out with Green Day, like, there was a lot of dead time, um, you know, waiting to play, waiting to sound check or whatever. Mm -hmm. So to be productive and not to just be sitting backstage looking at my cell phone, I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go through and I'm going to just, like, start picking Mountain Goat songs and learning covers, try to do one a day. And, like, it was really, like, I, I, I wanted to approach it, like, st studying an artist, you yeah. know, and studying their body of work. And, and it was, you know really eye-opening and I already knew this but like most mountain goat songs are like the same three chords over and over and over again so the idea of like you know taking the confines of these chords only and then creating something totally you and new and unique each time like that takes real creativity and that like you know is something that John Darnell does like just in spades so like I don't know I think being reminded that like to work with simplicity is really important sometimes. Okay, and of the songs that which you chose to learn, was there any rhyme or reason for, for those choices? I kind of, you know, at first when I was learning them, I was just starting with my favorites, you know? And then after that, like, as I started talking about it with people, other people would be like, oh, well, what about that one? And I was right. like, oh my God, I don't even know that one. So I'd go and learn that one. Uh, I mean, the Mountain Ghosts just have like such a large body of work that, you know, like there's surely albums you missed, even if you're like a lifelong fan. Yeah. Um, so. I, I, I'm just like I'm open to suggestion, and uh, <laughs> I'm taking yeah I'm taking uh, taking requests. <laughs> right, and the, the two songs which you played for us are just two favorites. Yeah, two favorites. Uh, going to Georgia. I was born in Georgia. I was born in Fort Benning, Georgia, and I have a lot of memories around Georgia, especially as I was saying, like uh, you know, starting out driving, um, listening to the Mountain Goats to leave Florida, you mm -hmm. have to go through Georgia. <laughs> so going to Georgia when you're leaving Florida was always like I'd put that song on okay. as I cross the Georgia Georgia state line um, and uh, best ever death metal band out of dance and I feel just like speaks for itself that's just an excellent <laughs> song such good lyrics yeah excellent well thank you for playing them yeah my pleasure <laughs> <laughs>